Welcome to my Blender channel and today we're going to make rope wrap around an object. If you're new to the channel, my name is Philip. I make Blender tutorials and blend and commentary using Blender animations. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. So these are the two examples I'm going to show you today. Obviously I haven't texted them perfectly, but you still get the idea um, of rope wrapping around a trunk. And it, this, I'm going to show you a method that you can wrap it around really any object. Um, so this is option one and this is option two. Let me just go around it once and then we'll get into the tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, the first thing you need to do is open up Blender, press numpad seven, select your default cube and press delete. Once it's deleted, press shift A. And we are, and by the way, you can also just press add over here. And we are going to make use of a uh, mesh, a mesh circle. And there we have it. Now, what I want you to do is press G to grab it and then press X to move it on the X axis and press one so that it's perfectly in line with this green line. Once you've done that, I'd like you to press R to rotate it and then I'd like you to press uh, X to rotate on the X axis and type in nine zero for 90 degrees. And now we have that. Now that's looking pretty dope. Once we have this, we can press Shift D to duplicate it. And then what you have to do, once you press Shift D, you have to right click so that it goes back into its original place. And now you need to go up here and you need to make sure that you set this uh, from your uh, medium point to your 3D um, cursor, which is currently by default set to the center. And now we can just press R to rotate this and we're gonna type in nine zero for 90 degrees. Once you've done this, uh, you can select both of these and press Shift D to duplicate this and press R to rotate this and you can type in 180 degrees and there you have it you've got four sides of the year just like that which is perfect the next thing i want you to do is press numpad 7 for top orthographic view select all of these objects and press Control j now that they're all grouped together as one object as we can see over here which is great we're going to name this object our rope and the next thing we need to do is we need to add the screw modifier. So we're gonna to go to the modifiers and select screw. And once you've done that, we'll leave it on the Z axis. We just wanna increase the screw over here to about eight, like that. And then we'll press Y and X and we'll see which one looks correct. And just looking at this, that doesn't look right, that doesn't look right, and that doesn't look right. The reason why it doesn't look right is because we forgot to press um, Control A and apply all transforms. And now when we go to Z, it will work perfectly. And you could change this from eight meters to five, uh, six meters if you want it to be a little bit more uh, tighter. That's all up to you. But I'm gonna leave it on eight for this demonstration. You can also increase the height uh, by just increasing the iteration. So we might go, let's go 10 over here. And now we've got this nice long piece of rope. Now obviously we wanna wrap this around objects. So Let's, uh, I've been asked, how do you wrap rope around a tree trunk? Well, there are two ways to do it. I'm gonna show you both ways. The first way is we're gonna select um, a shape that could match a tree trunk, uh, S20, um, numpad one, GZ, I guess that's 10, GZ 10 again, and I'm gonna actually leave that there, that's fine. So now I'm gonna right click, shade this smooth and press tab and just go control R and just bring this down like that, control R, bring this down like that, just so that we get this top piece looking slick. So this is our trunk and we wanna wrap the rope around this. And the, the long way, which is not a bad way, uh, it, it can work, it gives you a lot of control, but you have to be patient, press tab to go back into object mode. We're gonna select this rope over here and we're gonna add another modifier. But before we do that, we'll press numpad seven, shift A, and we're gonna add a curve. I'm just gonna use a path curve here, and I'm gonna press S20, and we can see this line here. That's the path curve, the NURBS path. So we're gonna call this uh, rope shape. So we've got our rope and we've got our rope shape. Now, how do we make that our rope shape? Well, we'll select our rope, and we will add a curve modifier. And once you've done that, we're gonna select our rope shape. And once you've selected your rope shape, you wanna select Z, and now it's perfectly in line. Now that you've done that, we're gonna select our rope shape, and we're gonna press tab to go into edit mode, 
I'm going to press numpad 7. I can't believe I'm sweating already. Uh, I'm in object mode. I press tab to go into edit mode. And now we can see all the points on this rope. And I can right click and I could subdivide. But before I do, let's just try and grab these two points here. Press G, drag it over here. And get this. Just get them roughly correct. So where it, where it kind of makes sense. And yes, this is a manual process. It's probably the one of the best ways to go about this. And you can see the, the, the curve ends here. So after the curve, the rope is just going to go straight. So we can either reduce the iterations or increase the length of the rope. To increase the length of the rope, we can just press E to extrude. And I'm just pressing E the whole time and then dragging this out to the point where I think is appropriate. All right. So now that we've got this rope here, I'm going to press numpad 1. The problem is that it's, it's being wrapped around on a line, which, which can be okay. But I think as we get to the end here, we probably want to do something like this. Now, just to make sure we are doing this right, I'm, I'm going to press tab. I'm going to select this. And I'm going to increase the iterations to uh, 15. And that seems to be good enough for me right now. And all we need to do now is add um, an array modifier. And we want this array modifier not to have the current offset. So we're gonna, we're gonna take, we could use the relative offset and adjust it perfectly. Um, in fact, we, we, let's do it this way, the relative, like the perfect relative offset. Um, there are many ways to go about this. Um, let's make this zero. And let's make Z one. And now that we can see this over here, we can adjust. So now we can just bring this down. Do something like that. And we'll fi make, all, make all the corrections and fix everything now. We're just trying to get this done. And we want to merge where possible. And we want to... Okay, I'm not going to do that. We'll, I think we'll leave it like that at the moment. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that, we also need to make some corrections. I'm going to press numpad 7. We can't see the rope over here. So now we have to click the rope shape again and press tab to go into edit mode. And we just need to um, select these two points here. And we can click right click and we can say subdivide. Oh, I guess we selected the wrong two points. There we go. And that now we click subdivide, numpad 7. And I can select this and just pull this out so that the rope is showing. And we could just move this to try and get the rope showing as well. We don't have to subdivide. And by doing this, it's also correcting this over here. And we ideally want to try and connect this in a useful way. Let's go over here. Okay, we can undo that actually. But obviously, we can't bring this down because it's just gonna, unless we can get it high enough. Maybe something like that would be fine if we can just uh, press tab, select the rope, and just adjust this slightly. Try 0 0.5. Hold and shift. Then we go back to the rope. And you kind of just have to tinker with this until you get the desired effect that you want. And let's say we're happy with this. We, like I said, this isn't the main way. This is a pretty good way to wrap it around rope. It looks fairly neat. Um, now we can just increase the count. Let's make it 10. 
And just like that, we have rope around a tree or whatever you want. And for the most part, from most angles, uh, when you're looking at this, it looks good enough. And obviously, you can also select the rope shape, press tab, and select the end here, and drag something out like this. But as you can see, it's going to create a problem here. So a possible alternative solution is just to uh, uh, say like uh, save these modifiers and have an extra rope made yeah that attaches to that. So it's not part of the modifier stack. But uh, yep. So let me show you another way. So let's press tab. Let's select this G X. Let's go G, X, and just chuck this down there. There we go. Go Shift, A, Mesh, and we are going to use a cylinder, S20, on pad 1, G, Z, 20. Right-click, Shade Smooth, Tab, Control, R. Do that and do that. This part is not needed. I just like to have it neat um, for my personal preference. Okay. Now that we've got this shape over here, uh, what we could do is press Control R over here, scroll up like this, create the, the cuts where we want the ropes to, to roughly be. So let's say we want this. And we're happy with this. Now that we've got all these, um, all these dots, um, we only have to worry about um, one line. And instead of like trying to plot and place everything, we could just select, press two, holding alt and select one line and then press shift D to duplicate this, right click to put it back in place. And then just press S, make it slightly bigger than what that space is there. And all we need to do now is press tab. Oh, hold on. With this selected, you also wanna, uh, you wanna separate this, right? I think, is it control L? It's been so long since I've separating loose parts. Shift L. Hold on, what is this? Okay, um, it's been so long since I've done this that uh, you know you can easily forget something so basic. Right click, separate, Control P. Damn it, by loose parts. There we go. So now it's a separate part here. So I press Tab to go into object mode. And we've got this here, and this is going to be the rope shape two, and this is uh, going to be tree two, or whatever tree trunk two, or whatever you want it to be. Now that we've got the rope shape over here, uh, we could just make the rope, and the making the rope would be the exact same way. Um, I'm going to just press H to hide that quickly, and I'm pad seven, shift A. We're going to use a mesh circle. We're going to zoom in quickly. We're going to press G x1 rotate this 90 degrees on the y is it the x axis the on the x axis that's looking good and once we've done that we can just press uh, shift d uh, rotate this 90 degrees once again we're making sure that we're rotating it based on the 3d cursor and not the medium and select both these over here and press shift d once you've got that you can rotate them 180 degrees and then you select all four parts right click and you say join or control J and now that we've done that we've got this shape of here which is perfect and all we need to do is add the modifier once again we're going to use the um, screw modifier and it's going to be funky because we forgot to once again press uh, is it con control a yes control a to apply all transforms boom it has to look like that that's looking perfect. Now all we have to do is increase the height. Let's make this six. And that is looking pretty dope. And you can increase the iterations here up to let's say 15 or whatever the case may be. And obviously we wanna add modifier and we wanna use the curve modifier again. And this is where it gets, you might not know uh, we're going to press Alt H to bring everything back. This sh uh, rope shape two is a mesh. That's a mesh symbol. So how do we change that? Well, we got an object, and there should be a convert option here, and we can convert the mesh to a curve. Now it's got the curve shape. 
perfect now we're in business so now when we select the rope we can choose rope shape 2 and now that we've selected rope shape 2 we have to select Z and now we know we need to iterate this more maybe 20 not quite and the reason why it's a bit more is because we use 6 not 8 that uses a bit more so we can just increase this so that looks good but now we probably want to merge this uh, if possible yeah I'm just gonna leave it like that and w once again um, we can press G Z hold on I am currently I need to select the actual rope shape too uh, G Z let's bring this down to the bottom and we can merge this and make it perfect so let's actually try it's funky a little bit but it's it should uh, work right so let's go to this makes no difference what happens if we put this on one on 10 it's supposed to break and get really funky if I make this too high but it's not doing that so let's drop this by one let's make this seven okay it looks really clean it's almost perfect but I'm still not happy with it um, let's make this zero for whatever reason I'll have to figure it out it's not working and also let's just make sure that the normals are on the right side um, we go over here face orientation everything is correct okay so let's just leave it like that it's uh, gonna be hard to notice um, in your actual blender scene and all you have to do now is add the array modifier put this on zero and increase the z-axis to 0 0.1 or something like that let's actually press numpad one zoom in and change this to one and uh, iterations 10 or less 8 and there you have it we have two ways to wrap a rope the manual way which is probably the preferred way that's time consuming or this other way that once you get the hang of it it can actually save you time oh one more final thing that's worth noting uh, that I think is crucial um, I get this question asked a lot how do I move the ropes well currently you must understand that we use non-destructive modeling which we've got all these arrays so for example if we try and move this rope it's gonna look funky and you're like why is that happening well it's because you haven't applied these modifiers if you apply them it all stay as is however let's say you don't want to apply them because you want to modify them later well all you need to do is to make your life easier over here you're gonna right click create a new collection and we're gonna call this rope one I'm gonna select rope one and then we're gonna just drag all of this into there and there you have it so now everything that's connected to rope one we can probably take the camera out and put it back in the collection goes there and you can create a new collection and we're going to call this uh, rope 2 and then select all of this and everything in here goes yeah and light could also go back in there there we go so now you have everything linked to these ropes so when you move this you have to move the whole collection you can't move everything so you have to select this hold and shift and select everything else and then you can move it and it won't deform Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.